Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, sometime back we were working on restoring this Famco 5C Arbor Press and got it pretty well restored, but there were just a couple of little small things that needed to be finished up and I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Today we're getting around to it. So uh, one of the things that I had was this bolster plate or daisy wheel down here was missing when I got it. It did not have one on here at all. Thanks to many of my viewers out there who had a machine like this, they were able to send me some uh, sketches, drawings, whatever pictures of what it was supposed to look like, the dimensions, uh, the size of the openings, all that kind of good stuff. And um, I was able to find, I had a uh, viewer that was down in Valdosta, Georgia, just a few miles south of me, about, about uh, 45 minutes an hour south of me. Uh, works for a shop down there that has the capability to cut some really thick steel. And uh, he was kind enough, he took my drawings, he drew them up for me, and uh, he cut this out uh, out there at his shop. And this is some nice, I think inch and a half, uh, I can't remember what kind of steel it was. This is some really, really strong steel that he made this out of, so it should do the job for us. But it needs to be finished, and that's what we're going to be doing today. And basically what I want to do is take this over to the lathe. I want to face both sides of this to get them nice and flat. This is basically just a piece of plate steel, so it's not really super flat on the top. It's flat in general terms, but we're going to make it flatter. Second thing is we need to drill a hole in the very center of this and put a pin so that this rotates. There's actually a little hole down here in the, in the, the uh, plate here up underneath it that this pivots on. Right now it's just kind of flopping around loose. So anyway, we're going to be going over to the lathe and doing a quick little job here. Hopefully get this uh, daisy wheel all finished up and uh, I think we'll be getting this machine pretty much completely restored at that point. So anyway, let's get over there and get this done. So we're over here on the Monarch 16 inch lathe and uh, I got my three jaw chuck in here. Hopefully we should be able to grip this just fine with the spacings of the holes. Um, let's see, I can turn that just a little bit and I think grab it on both. Yeah. So we're just barely gripping this. Uh, we got full contact on one part of the pad and I just got barely gripping it on the other part, but I think we got it. Let's get that good and tight. And see what it's going to look like. I think that's going to be fine. All right, let me get set up here to face that off and we'll get that done. And we will just uh, use our power feed and skim right across that. We got one little area didn't quite clean up, so let me come on back out. We'll take another pass on it. See right up in here. That should do it. Got a nice finish on that. Turned out really nice. 
we're going to take this out now and basically just flip it around and we're going to do the other side as well so uh, All right. That should be nice and flat up against the back. All right, let's roll across there. And voila, both sides are faced. Next, we need to drill the hole in the center. A little pivot hole, it's a 3 8 hole. I'll start by just putting a little center dimple in there to get my drill bit started on. That should be plenty. And we'll come in here with a 3 8 inch drill bit and just drill all the way through. Come in here and just uh, lightly deburr this hole. And we'll do the other side when we get it out, and it is time to take it out. I'm not going to turn the outside of this just simply because I don't have a way to really grip it where I can do it all in one pass. And if I do it on one side and flip it around on the other side, I'm afraid my, my cuts won't line up just right. So we're just going to live with the flame cut. It's no big deal. And we'll take this over to the press. Come in here, use my little Noga deburring tool to deburr the other side of this. And we're good. So now I need to find a 3 8 pin to go in there for that to pivot on. Press it in and we'll be ready to go. Let me go find them one of those. Been looking around the shop trying to find a piece of stock and I don't have a piece of 3 8 that's just right for this. And uh, anyway, I also came over here and started looking at it. I drilled that 375, uh, 3 8 inch, so I want to just check the fit. I went and pulled some gauge pins. So this one here is uh, 375. That's a perfect 3 8 and so using a gauge pin. And it, I mean, it's a, it's a nice fit, but it's a loose fit. And I really want the pin to be pressed into this and be tight. And my hole down here, I got plenty of room in there. So I'm going to go to a 376, and again, it's it's in there. It's tight, but it's it moves around easily. It's not a press fit. So let's go to 377. Okay, that one is definitely it's going in there, but it's it's a little bit tight. I think I want it to be a little bit tighter than that if I can. So let me find. Here's my 378, and that one there, I mean, it's that's going to be a, a interference fit. That's going to be a press fit. That should stay in place, and then to double check my pivot hole down here, it's going in just fine. So I think what I'm going to do is just go over to the lathe, and we're going to turn a pin 378 diameter, uh, which should be a press fit into this and it should spin down there just fine. So um, let's go over to the lathe and we'll make a, make a pivot pin.
I think we're going to do this over on the rivet, rivet lathe. So I got my metal in here. We'll start out by just uh, facing the back side of it. I want this to be about two and a quarter inches long. I've got my stick out here about two and three quarters. So we got plenty of metal there. And where's my calipers? And we're starting with half inch stock. And we're going to three, seven, eight, I think is what I said, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's do it. All right, let's just uh, go ahead and start turning this down. Nothing fancy here. Straightforward turning. All right, I got about two hundred thou to go, or excuse me, hundred thou to go. So, um, so let's just go with it. here. I'm at about I'm just gonna take a pass here without moving anything just to get everything nice and smooth. We're right on right where we need to be I believe. Yeah, so I'm about 278 right there. Or excuse me, 378. All right, we're right on the money. That's where I want to be at. We'll uh, champ for the end of this. tool in here and I want it to be about two and a quarter which is going to be about right there. There we go. Now let's see if we can uh, Get this pin pressed in. And we'll just use the arbor press for it. And I'm gonna kind of put my hand up under the bottom here and hopefully I'll feel that when it gets down there. That's pressing in very nicely. It's going in without too much pressure, but tight enough that it's not gonna come out. And I think that's probably good right there. Now. Just like it's supposed to work. Loving it. Here we go. One daisy wheel. Turning like a wheel. That's exactly what we want. There we go, another job knocked out here. Daisy wheel is
properly installed now, like the way that looks, like the way that works. And uh, anyway, we're good to go. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. As always, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave some comments if you like. Thumbs up are always appreciated. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.